What is up, Cynthia fans? It's Patricia, and today I have a haul for you. We all love hauls. This is my last fall and winter haul for the season, and I think I have either five or six customer orders plus some items for me. So I will be delivering all of these back to where I used to live. So I got to get these all organized and packaged up. So I actually filmed part of the video and realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in, so we're doing it again. So for laundry, I have two laundry liquids. These recently went up, so these are both for me. One's in fluffy fleece and one's in clothesline. And it's concentrated, so I told my daughter, she's, I said, please don't go over four pumps because I can just picture the, you know, go crazy. Um, I have a small tub of fluffy fleece washer whiffs and a large tub of clothesline. And for dryer discs, we have two packages, which is four in total of fluffy fleece. One local customer, she wanted bulbs. We have a 15 watt three pack and a 25 watt three pack. And I love the numbers on the side. For my former neighbor, she picked up a frosted vanilla scent circle. She picked up two travel twists. She's actually a travel agent, so this makes perfect sense for her. So she picked up vanilla bean buttercream and weathered leather. She also picked up the Take a Stand warmer, which is an element warmer. And I don't think it says the wattage on, yes, eight watts on the bottom. You can always check the bottom, I'll show you. It kind of says down here. Right here, electrical, under electrical, okay? In case you didn't know that. And we have, for one of my former Zumba students, we have Winter Retreat, and that is a 25 watt bulb warmer. So I'm not gonna open those because they're not for me. Also for my Zumba person, Orange Blossom and Cashmere Oil. And again, I can't open it because it's not for me. So guess what? We had 90 items in this order and the rest <laughs> is a pile of wax. So let's talk about the one, one offs first. For a girl I used to go to high school with, and she's now where I pick up my prescriptions, uh, she picked up, she loves anything with bergamot, so she picked up a bunch of things with bergamot. Uh, we have LFC. This is a white colored wax. It's, it's a nice masculine scent. A masculine cologne, um, you know, bright, fresh scent. For Ryan, I picked up another Oh Boy, because this one retired, and this one is almost like Cherry Limeade's more chilled out, you know, Mickey friend. Yeah, it's a little bit like cherry limeade, not as much tartness from any lime. It's, it does come across as cherry, but I believe there's grapefruit in there. We have a salted caramel toffee, which is salted caramel, uh, salted caramel toffee and butterscotch. Yeah, that one is a good mixer. I like it on its own as well. We have king cake. This was from the Mardi Gras collection, which left us. And king cake is not really so much a cake. It's more of a, like almost like a cinnamon brioche bread kind of thing going on. So some people think it smells like almond croissant. I, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I know there's a lot of people that love it. I think I'm more of a true cake person and not like a bready kind of person. We have blueberry cheesecake, which is really nice. It's the New York cheesecake and the graham cracker crust and the blueberries. Yeah, very strong. We have clove and cinnamon. This is also strong and long lasting. Yeah, and sorry, I didn't get around to filming a strong and long, but if you want one for next the next six months let me know I apologize I kind of had a lot going on <laughs> not a favorite scent of mine but my former neighbor ordered this weathered leather I I'm gonna smell it but I, I know I don't like it no oh, it's really it's kind of light kind of a light pour anyway uh, we have I think we have one Luna this is a bestseller it's a floral it's got like sweet pea and freesia or I don't know what it's got sandalwood berries yeah, that one's a nice one. We have Cider Mill. I know this one's for me because I wanted to have it for when the fall came around. I wanted to have it on hand, like to warm late August, early September. So it's basically apples, pumpkins, and spices. Gently simmering spices. I know I didn't have any more. I have White Amber and Silk. This is for my former high school friend. Yeah, it smells nice. It's light, it's light. Yeah, these are pretty cold. Uh, this usually comes across with a little laundry twinge, but I'm not really getting that today. 
I can't remember who ordered this, but I hope it wasn't me. Make me snickerdoodle. I just, I feel like I have a lot of them and I'm like, did Sensi send me another one by mistake? <laughs> hope not. Yeah, this one, snickerdoodles don't really have brown sugar, but this has a brown sugar note, which I find odd. We have lemon drizzle cake. Ooh, I almost dropped it. The thing that I find odd is in the spring and summer, it's like we're cake obsessed. We have lemon drizzle cake, strawberry lemon cake, and we have cake me to paradise. <laughs> so they're probably gonna be battling it out. But I mean, there's other bakeries, Sensi. We have like, we, we could have, you could have even done like a key lime pie, a lemon meringue pie, you know, angel food, strawberry angel food cake, or I suppose that's another cake. <laughs> anyway, lemon drizzle cake has a lilac sugar note, which some people don't like. Yeah. We have gimme candy. This is like a butterscotch uh, candy corn influenced kind of very strong scent. Yeah, very, very sweet. Sometimes I, I use that to mix. And we have cinnamon pine cones. I call this the sleeper scent because people don't really think to try it. When, then when they try it, they really like it. There's, I think there's like pine cones, cinnamon, and like a, a tree note, but I don't get the tree note. I must say, sorry about my hair. I got it chopped, but I've been cleaning all day, so a little wonky. All right, I've got Follow the Rainbow. This has recently sold out. This has blood orange, berries, and pineapple, I think. Yeah, it's okay. It's a generic fruity scent. It's fairly strong, a pretty good performer. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have Two Frosty Air. This was a new release last season. This comes across, I think it has Lily of the Valley. It's like a yeah, a very high-pitched uh, laundry scent. We have two fluffy fleece. This is a scent that came in from the bricks and now it's in the catalog, but it's recently retired because it's fall and winter focus scent. It's actually growing on me a little bit, probably because of the laundry, but I, I don't really care to warm it in wax very often, but my husband likes it. It comes across like a very perfumey scent to me. I have two mystery man. This is for my coworker. She likes certain scents and she's she's like, can I have that musky one? And I'm like, what one would that be, Audrey? And she's like, I don't know, it's musky. And so I'm, I'm like guessing, I'm like, is it mystery man? She goes, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think, what does she order? Yeah, and it's funny because another one of my coworkers sometimes cleans Audrey's house and she smelled mystery man going and normally she doesn't like those kind of scents and now she's ordering mystery man. <laughs> so anyway. That mystery man's getting some action, isn't he? All right, we have a trio of waxes. It is the Easter collection. So this has lemon lime fizz, which my husband loves. I'm just gonna smell it. Yeah, it reminds me of, I think it's the closest for me personally to magic in every wish, but maybe less lime and more sugar. <laughs> Um, we have peach and grapefruit mimosa and this came in second in tester tuesday voting so i actually started warming it today yeah it's pretty strong so far so stay tuned for more and we have strawberry bliss which did not make it we had a really tight race for tester tuesday voting we had lots of votes this week so thank you and even the lowest voting scent i think had 12 percent of the vote so it was very competitive this week um third place was was almost second was First was almost tied, and third was almost tied, but anyway, it was crazy. So that is Strawberry Bliss. This has champagne, strawberry, and maybe a tiny bit of greenery, I think. Yeah, I think I like this better than the one in the catalog, but which is very sweet. But I just started warming that today, so stay tuned for that. All right, in the clearance, I don't know if this is still available, but a couple of my customers wanted toasted coconut amaretto. And it's funny because I put my Tester Tuesday videos out and then sometimes when I see something in clearance or a flash sale, I'll see these old videos come up on my analytics that are people are watching them and, and it's getting views. And I think Brandy commented, she's like, I came here to see what you thought. And I said, I can't really remember, but I think, I, I remember when I first smelled this, I liked it. And then when I warmed it, there was something about it that I didn't like, but I thought it was a good performer. And I said, did I get, get, did I get it right? because I didn't want to go back and watch my video to see what my opinions were, and she said yes. And I think there was somebody else, oh, two or maybe a couple more people said they were there for the same reason. So anyway, thank you for your, your support and watching the older, oldie videos. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad here. I mean, if, if someone gave me a bar of this, I, I would melt it and get through it no problem. So 
It does have that amaretto note, which does have that a little bit of that cherry lean to me. Excuse me. One of my locals picked up two totally mini. This is um, a light scent for me, so I don't tend to buy it. I think it's got some florals and maybe some apricot or peach, but it's really hard to smell. Like I don't even think I could smell anything. I feel like my husband, when he tries to smell, he's like, he smells it like three or four times really deep and goes, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I don't have them on first sniffs. I'm just gonna smell it on the bottom. It is it is a nice scent, but I, I think you would have to load up the warmer. So personal, oh, there's a little black dot on that. Oh, I got it off. <laughs> I got it off. I don't want to give my customers wax with black black dots. Okay, I have two of the absolutely perfect Scentsy Bar. Oops, I almost dropped these too. <laughs> so let's smell these. Let me think, what are the notes? Cherry blossom, creamy vanilla, and maybe fresh spring air. I looked it up. I'm trying to remember, I think that's the, the notes. It doesn't smell very strong. These are cold. These are literally cold. It's kind of powdery to me. It's like a powdery, sweet, airy scent. I, I don't know. I would say light, light on cold sniff. But again, these are straight off the UPS truck. And we have temperatures that are probably about Eh, five degrees Celsius, so it's still not warm here, but it's not cold either. Okay, let's see. I have two Amazon Rain. This is a bestseller. One is for me. I know that because I didn't have any. And this is basically coconut milk. It's got night blooming jasmine. It's got melon. Yeah, to me, it's got a, almost like a lemon lime influence. So it is a very unique scent and it's nice. One is obviously for a customer. One is from me and one is for a customer. Candy cream, candy cane buttercream. I wanted one more just because I do really like the scent. Not enough to club it. And it's so light that I don't want to kind of go crazy with it. So this is basically vanilla bean buttercream and candy cane. And then we have three vanilla bean buttercream. Speaking of, vanilla bean buttercream is a bestseller. It's in the bakery section. It stays around all year. It's basically cane sugar, uh, vanilla, and but decadent buttercream. All right, the next one, I think we have four of these. We have four, cranberry and cardamom. This one here is basically, I think it's got cherry, cranberry, and cardamom. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of a strong, like there's something about it. It's like a cherry uh, relative of jeweled pomegranate. Like jeweled pomegranate kind of is in this family, but obviously different fruits. But if you like that, you might like this. And I feel like I'm smelling tree, which I did not get in jeweled pomegranate. So maybe they're not at all similar, but anyway. I have, let's see, five cozy cardigan. And two of these are for Audrey, because I had to troubleshoot which one, which one she wanted again. Pays to have a good memory. <laughs> yeah, this has blushing rose. It's got amber silk. It's got suede. It's really nice and beautiful bedroom scent, so that is good. They're not all for her, but I know two of them are. I'm just going through it like, um, you're gonna be surprised. Well, you might not be surprised what, what the most, most ordered scent is, but let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Cashmere and corduroy. And this is going in my club. I think one of these might be for me and the rest for customers. So, so freaking good i just love this and if you i always say if you haven't tried it well, <laughs> i'll take this one it's i think it's got italian or sicilian bergamot or italian bergamot or something i just love it so much it's so cozy it's just a total patricia kind of scent and the performance is really good on that too all right one two three four five six seven eight and I've talked about not very many people ordering this. Oh, I have a bruise on me, on my arm. <laughs> anyway, I just see it here. I have eight of these. So these were very popular last year and obviously they're still popular with some of my customers. It's Frosted Vanilla, which has a birch note plus vanilla and it's got like a coolness. It comes across as a medicinal kind of scent to me, like a liniment. It, it smells nice right now, but I just know that it's not my cup of tea. But it smells better here than it normally does. And I have one more. 
and I'm going to show you it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 14 of these, so I can't hold them up. 14. What scent is it? Well, let's play a little game. Okay, clue number one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some clues and see if you can guess what it is before I talk about it. I don't think there's any other scent that is this color in the catalog, in the former catalog. I sing a lot when I show you this song. That's hint number two. <laughs> you probably know it already. Uh, what else? It's a very unique scent, hard to describe, and when you read the notes, you're thinking, what? <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping you guessed, but I have 14 of these, and they're not all for me. Locals are obviously loving it too. It is Silver Bells, which is minty candy cane, pear, uh, like almost like a caramel vanilla sugar kind of thing going on. Yeah, it's really nice. If you haven't tried this, I hope it comes back so that you can give it a try. I'm gonna get packaging these up. As a scented consultant, right now when you get a haul, your room is a mess or whatever room you're unpacking it in until you get it all sorted, packaged up, samples, catalogs. It's a fun time, busy time, but fun time. So let me know if you saw any of your favorites here. And out of the two warmers, have you ever tried the winter retreat or the take a stand? Take a stand is in the catalog right now and winter retreat is in the clearance right now. So if you're at all interested, hop on, take a look. So I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.